This was probably the first fighting game that I played as a kid. And I think for most other kids, this would also be the first fighting game that they played back in the 90s. Today I'll be showing you my Street Fighter games collection from 2008 onwards. Uh, now I am missing uh, a few games, but anyway, here are the ones I have so far. Starting with Street Fighter 4. I gotta be honest, the first time I saw and tried this game in the arcades, I wasn't sold. I kept comparing it to Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. Uh, my main reasoning at that time was that the game felt floaty. Uh, it didn't feel right when moving, didn't feel right when jumping, there was just something about it. Uh, there was a, I don't know, a slowness about it, kind of like the Street Fighter EX series, um, for me at least. Uh, most of you uh, may not share my sentiments, but anyway. Now, obviously, since then I've changed my opinion on the game, hence this game and its updated versions released as standalone games. But anyway, yeah, let's let's take a look at this, right? So there it is, there is the, um, uh, the PlayStation 3 Street Fighter 4 game, uh, you know, uh, yeah, there's a spine. There's the back of it, right? Now I do realize that this uh, has a collector's edition. However, yeah, back then, uh, especially around 2008, I wasn't, uh, yeah, I, I, I wasn't working full time, so I didn't have the financial backing uh, to, to buy the collector's edition. But uh, yeah, as always, I, I am, I am looking to, um, to, to get it one day if I can find it uh, in, you know, uh, uh, being sold on, on either, you know, eBay or, or trade me. But Anyway, yeah, let's take a look at the inside. Now there it is, there is the inside right there. There's a, there's a disc, the Blu-ray disc. Uh, you also get a, um, a booklet, which is a, or instruction manual, whatever you want to call it, which is a rarity nowadays. Um, and this one here, it's uh, nice and thick. So you'll know exactly what you're getting. Okay, so take, let's take a look at this. So if I open this up, uh, you, know, you know, there's a front there, usual. And there's the contents. Uh, there's getting started. There's the old fat PS3 with the PS3 controller. Uh, there it is. There's a story. Tournament begins anew. Alright, there's one of the maps. Uh, there's the controls. Nice and concise. Right, punch, punch buttons, uh, kick buttons on the side there. Uh, all the uh, movements. Uh, starting up, you got all the different modes. And there it is. Uh, there's a throwback for you. The main menu for Street Fighter 4. There's a game screen. Right, uh, rules of combat, match setups, winning rounds, and all that. There is the character select. Okay, basic controls. Escaping throws, focus attack, hyper armor, recovery. Uh, levels of focus attack, super combos, special moves, there it is. Uh, what else? Oh, EX focus, there we are, if you're wondering how that's performed. Uh, ultra combo. <clears throat> There's the game modes, arcade versus network battle. Uh, quick match, lobby. Create match, rankings, time attack, survival, trial, uh, there's a training mode there, uh, what else, it's yeah, it's nice and concise, gallery mode, there we go, there's the options, so yeah, like I said, it's, uh, it's a rarity nowadays, oh look, character introductions, there it is, there's, a, there's all the moves, alright, there's the, um, Icon key, uh, there's the moves. Ken, Ryu, Ken. Uh, what else have we got here? Ooh, look. and the new fighters Rufus <coughs> uh, El Fuerte and Abel right uh, but yeah there it is 
There is the instruction manual, uh, a really great instruction manual uh, for Street Fighter 4. Okay? Right, the next game is <laughs> Super Street Fighter 4. And it's actually an updated version of, uh, of Street Fighter 4, but because it was too large of an update to be released as a DLC, it was made into a standalone game with a lower price. Um, so yeah, there it is, there's the back of it. Okay. Uh, also, this game had an additional 10 characters on top of the original 25 characters from uh, Street Fighter 4. Uh, but yeah, let's take a look at the contents. There is the PS3 disc, and here's a here's the instruction manual. And again, it is a uh, nice and thick. So let's take a look inside. It's probably going to be um, mostly the same, with uh, you know several additions. There it is costume packs, story so far. Uh, yeah, controllers are the same. Let's see if I can hold this uh, up properly. Here we go. Uh, there's the character select. Throws focus attack. So yeah, mostly it's mostly the same, as you can see here. Uh, not a lot has changed. Uh, X focus, ultra combo, and all that. Arcade. Team Battle. Uh, yeah, these are the challenges. Training. Hey, character moves. There we are. Characters, Kami, Phelong, Sakura. Yeah, you can tell this contains a lot more characters. T Hawk, DJ. And I think uh, oh yeah, there's there's more. Guy, Cody. Pretty sure that's more than ten characters. I'm just thinking, sorry. Um, yeah, there's the back piece of artwork there. Capcom Europe. And, uh, yeah. So yeah, there it is. There is the um, instruction manual for Super Street Fighter 4 for the PS3. All right. Okay. Uh, the <laughs> the next update that is also released as a standalone game is Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition. Uh, this only added four new characters and a bunch of other improvements, tweaks and balancing and all that. But uh, yeah, there it is. There's a the case there. There is the back of it. Right, you can see the four characters in there. And inside, uh, yeah, the game disc and also the instruction manual. Now, yeah, this one is also thick, so uh, let's go over them and... I'm gonna go straight to the um, uh, controls, I guess. There's no point. It looks exactly the same, as you can see here. So, you know, costume packs and all the controls. And this is gonna be a lot of, you know, uh, waste of time. But anyway, let's go to the moves. There we are, right? So, uh, first couple of pages, the same. Uh, I'm gonna go straight to the um, the new characters. I'm just gonna flip a few pages here. TLP, DJ. So it stopped there for Super Street Fighter 4, but um, now we've got Guy, Cody, you actually, no, it didn't stop there, uh, that's from the old game, Dudley Hakanjuri, and where's the four, there it is, these are the four new characters, Yun, Yang, Evil Ryu, and Oni, and those are the moves, just in case you're wondering. Yep, and, yeah, <laughs> and there is, um, Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition, alright, okay, Finally, the fourth and final update of the game, Ultra Street Fighter 4. I'm, <laughs> I gotta be honest with you, 
I'm surprised Capcom didn't name this Ultra Street Fighter 4 Omega Home Evolution 25th Anniversary Edition or something, something ridiculous. This one introduced five new characters, bringing the total to 44 playable characters. So 25 in the first, 10 in Super, 4 in Arcade, and finally 5 in Ultra. Okay, um, yeah, so there's a back there, right, and uh, the inside there's nothing really special, it's just the CD and, and this, which is, um, yeah, that. Okay, oh, what about, oh yeah, there, and there's the controllers there, basic controls. So, yeah, you may all be thinking, why don't I don't just buy Ultra Street Fighter 4 since it has everything, you know, the previous uh, games have, and then some. Uh, well, a couple of reasons, really. First of all, I, I, was, uh, I was into buying games to collect. I preferred the physical copies. And uh, rather than the di digital copies, which is the most important reason, I think. And I was still single. I loved my fighting games. And uh, most, if not all of my friends, were still single. So I had someone to play the game with every weekend. Uh, but yeah, so that's the reason why I've got four, essentially they are the same games, it's just, you know, update upon update upon update. But, look, ultimately, I never regretted any of my purchases, so, um, there they are. The next game in the series is Street Fighter V Arcade Edition. Uh, so there's not much to show here, besides the case, uh, which is there, right, the, the, there it is, those are the fighters there, uh, there's the back. And yeah, like I said, there's not much to show. The contents are a bit lacking, so um, you know, there's only that, the, the disc there, and um, there's also this uh, DLC code, voucher code, to redeem the, four, the, the Street Fighter Season 1 and Season 2 Street Fighter 5 characters, and also the PlayStation 4 theme, so it's, it came in, in that, you know, the voucher code's just there, right? So yeah, and that's, uh, that is Street Fighter 5 Arcade Edition. Moving on to something more interesting, and the most recent game in the series. This is Street Fighter VI Collector's Edition for the PS5. Okay, so a little bit of backstory. I, I did not pre-order nor buy this game when it first came out. Simply because it cost 650 New Zealand dollars when it first came out, and to be quite Honest, financially speaking, I was not in a good place at that time. As as much as I wanted this at the beginning, I, I had to let it go. Uh, and at that time, I was certain that I was never going to get this collector's edition because of the price. But somehow, deep down, I was hoping that either someone would have cancelled their pre-order or Mighty Ape was going to order more than what people pre-ordered and, yeah, and have some, uh, you know, some left uh, behind. Sure enough, it happened. So I saw this appear in Trade Me, where My Ape has a store with a price of $650. So I thought, great, I'll just wait a couple of weeks, months to see if it'll go down in price. Then I will buy it, hopefully at a heavily discounted price. You know, if it's meant to be, then it's meant to be. And sure enough, Mighty Ape did another one of their massive gaming sales through, you know, via their own website. And this collector's edition came up in their website, and it was priced at $299. Believe me, you couldn't get me to click on that buy now button any faster. But anyway, let's take a look at the box further. Right, so there is a card sleeve on the outside, as you can see there, right? And as usual, so actually, before we take a look at the, at the back, let's like look at, um, at the sleeve itself. So there is, there we go, there's a front there showing uh, the new protagonist, Luke. And then uh, there's a top, it's got uh, Mad Gear Metro City on, uh, let's go to the bottom. On the bottom has nothing, it's red, and on one side you've got a whole bunch of signatures and, you know, all that, uh, fragile, whatever. On the other side, similar. And finally, on the back, it gives you the contents. It tells you the contents. So you've got here uh, the Mad Gear box itself, the pop-up parade figures for Luke and Kimberly. There we are. Uh, you've got an art book, sticker set, figure diorama boards. You got street. You get the Street Fighter Six Plus Steelbook and digital content. Right, and there they are. Um, they all are. Okay. And now, as, as usual, you know, the bottom just gives you um, uh, information on the game itself. Okay. All right. So. Uh, let's, um, yeah, uh, oh, by the way, 
Uh, this one here, I forgot to mention, this Street Fighter um, 6 Year 1 Altered Pass, this one gives me up to Akuma. So I have Rashid, Aki, AKI, whatever you want to call it, Ed and Akuma. Uh, unfortunately for M. Bison, I have to buy him. So uh, yeah, I, like I said, I, this one here, the Ultimate Pass, I get Akuma. Let's take out the cardboard sleeve and let's take a look at the box uh, closer. Okay, here we go. So there we are. There's the main box. And there's the sleeve there. Okay, so I'm going to put this out of the way, first of all. Okay. Uh, right, so the box itself, um, you know, it's got uh, the same image uh, on the back as it is on the front. The top looks like that, and at the bottom, again, it's just red, okay? Alright, actually, I've got, I got one more thing that I want to show you, um, and I think this is uh, also important, and uh, also kind of, um, it is a talking point. Now, I want to show you the shipping box that this came in. Here, this is it. Okay, I'm gonna put it up here so you can see. There's it. There's the box right there. Okay, Street Fighter Six. Uh, there it is. Collector's Edition PS5. Uh, right there it is. There's the shipping box. Now, take a look at this. You'll see the corner is reinforced with this by this plastic uh, corners. I would say. Now, to me, this shows that someone at Capcom cares, and I appreciate that very much. Now, if you you know, um, most of my other games, like the Spider-Man Collector's Edition, the boxes, they don't have these little plastic corners. Yes, yes it is plastic, but, you know, for someone like me, it's it's really, there it is, you can see it there, it's it's really helpful. So, um, I'll show you, I've got four more of these, I've kept them all, uh, those are the four uh, corners here. So, essentially, they just go like that, right, and this one goes on this side, so it, it protects the corners, so it doesn't get squished, uh, which, is, which is great. And, yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, some of you may not care, but uh, to me, like I said, that's that's really, that's really, really great. Okay? Alright, anyway, let's take a look at the contents of this game. Right, to open it up, all you have to do is lift this flap here. There it is, and opens up just like that. And the first thing that you see is the game. Okay? Alright, so I'm gonna put this a little bit back here. Okay, uh, so what are we, okay, yeah, the game. So let's see here. There it is. There is the game, the Street Fighter 6 game for PS5 this time. Uh, there is the back of it, right? And obviously, um, yeah, there's uh, there's nothing really much in here besides the um, the disc itself, the PS5 uh, disc, and a whole bunch of um, you know health warning and whatnot, right? Uh, and below that we have. I'm gonna take this out very carefully. Below that we have the steel case in here. So let's take it out of the plastic wrap and there it is nice and shiny there we go there's a the front and there is the back and inside uh, more artwork as you can see yeah okay so there it is there is the uh, steel case I haven't which I haven't used because I don't see the point to be honest with you okay now below that, below the steel case, uh, actually I'm going to take this. I have to take this out. We have uh, the this one here, the sticker set, which is right there. Now I haven't opened these because I don't see the point. Uh, but there's a whole bunch in there. There's uh, there's you can see Blanca there. Uh, you can see what else can you see here? You can see the Shadowloo. Is that no? That's actually Blanca. Um, and then you have a whole bunch of other stickers. Actually, you know what? I'm going to open it for you. Uh, who cares? Okay, so let's open this up and let's take a look at these stickers uh, up close. The first sticker is this uh, K. The second one is this arrow. And then you've got uh, this little guy. Is it this way or is it a... Oh, it's a panda. There we go. And then you have this. Or is it this way? No, it's this way. And then uh, another arrow. All right, there it is. Uh, what else do you have? You have this one here. Apologies. Uh, you know what? What I'm going to do is I'm going to have to move this down because this is taking away the um, uh, the focus. There. So that's that's hopefully that's better. And then there is uh, Lilith. 
Uh, that's Morgan's sister, by the way. And then there's uh, Blanca. Channel Eternity. Oh, this is cool. A Street Fighter um, sticker. This is very cool. Uh, and then you've got uh, this. And finally, food delivery. All right, so that is everything in the sticker set. Below that, there's actually, I'm gonna have to um, close this, but uh, there is a DLC code for the year one ultimate pass, which is right there, okay? And that's stuck to the, um, to the bottom of the small. so uh, yeah. Below that, we have this. This is, I believe this is the art book. And like I said, I have never opened this, so let's, uh, let's, let's open this now. So there's nothing else in there, by the way. All right, so there's the art book there. Uh, it's called To Be Continued or Continued Get Strong. All right, there it is. There is the back. Looks like Onitsuka Tiger is the, um, uh, one of the um, labels that's in the game. Sponsor, that's the word. All right, let's, uh, let's open this one up. There it is. First time I'm seeing this, I've never seen the content, so uh, yeah, as usual, you're in for a treat. There we are, and there we go. I'm gonna have to, yeah, it's not gonna be ideal, but uh, I'm gonna try to show this as best I can. Uh, there is the fighter poster. I'm gonna have to do this in, uh, yeah, on another video, unfortunately, but let's go over this uh, very quickly. There it is, I'm gonna have to, yeah. Jamie. Yeah, it is an art book, essentially. Oops, I missed the page. Who was that? Yep, Lily. Yep, JP. And you've got Jury. That's a cool looking helmet. DJ. Oh, I missed a few again. There's Kami. There's Ryu. Uh, there is E Honda. Blanca. This is Guile. Yeah, I'm gonna go over these uh, very quickly. Zangief. Because, like I said, it's uh, it's not ideal. I can't hold this. Um, yeah, I'm 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 at an awkward angle. Oh look, wow, that that is cool. Look at that, retro Capcom games. Pretty cool. Uh, and then more posters. World tour. Those are different locations in game. Metro City. Different food. All right. And then uh, yeah, basic training course. Mexico, Italy, Jamaica, Japan, India, France, and yeah, and there it is. There is the um, the art book, and I do apologize again if you can't really see it as well. But uh, like I said, I'll do another video and um, I'll include this in it. Okay. All right. What else do you get uh, after that? So we have here the figure, the two figure diorama boards, there it is, there is the first one and there is the second one so, um, and, and the back just, it's just a red, so essentially what you do is you bend this forward and you you know, you stand up like this and you can, you know, put your characters in front of it and well, and by characters, this is what I mean so, oh, these two right here, which I have never opened and by the way, uh, as always, if you're wondering what else is down here that is what it looks like on the inside, right? That's where the, uh, the, the, the plastic mold fits in and then everything else goes on top of it, okay? Uh, okay, so let's, uh, let's open this up now. Like I said, uh, first time I'm gonna open this. Um, <clears throat> let's take a look at this. So there it is. Right, you can't really see it, but yeah. There's the bottom. There is the back pop-up braid. Uh, there is a little sticky tape here so I'm gonna have to open that uh, so yeah just bear with me a few minutes later so let's uh, yeah, let's see them. so let's open this up up here oh I gotta be very careful with this uh, I'm gonna turn it this way let's take out Kimberly first 
okay. And there, let's take out Luke, just like that, and let's let this with, uh, with that. I'm going to put this on the back. There we are. Uh, right, Kimberly, let's open uh, this one first. So, is there a sticky tape? Yes, there is. Oh, wow. I need to open this again. So, there is um, this uh, sticky tape here that's holding it, so i gotta, I got to cut that away. Okay, here we are. Uh, you got the base here, so if I take out the base, oh wow, the base is also, I'm gonna, actually, you know what, I'm going to leave the base right there. Uh, in here, you have, if I take out the plastic, well, how does this work? Oh, okay, just like that. I take this out, uh, remove all of these plastic coverings here. Also from her hair. Wow, that is individually plastic. Uh, well, yeah, that's a bit overkill, but uh, yeah, it's all right. Take out every single one of them. There it is. Okay. That's neat. That's really neat. And that's obviously that's where the um. It sits on the base. Uh, yeah, okay, you know what? Might as well. I might as well open the base. I've gone this far. Uh, it'd be rude not to open the base as well. Here it is. There's the base. And here is Kimberly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick her in here. Just like that. So there it is. That's with the base. It's very well done. I mean, look at that. Look at those details. It's very well. Well, it's not that detailed, but it's very well done. Look at the look at the um, look at the facial expression. I mean, the 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 paint itself. It's really good, really really good. I, I, yeah, I know this. There you go. So that's uh, that's Kimberly. Okay, moving on to Luke this time. So let's open this one. Also has uh, you know tape all around. So let's open that up. A few minutes later. There it is. This one is much more solid because you know it's, yeah, it's Luke. So if we take this guy out from the plastic, there it is. Oh, and also the hand, of course. There we are. Oh, there we go. And let's take out the base. And there is the base there. So if we just kind of do that, <clears throat> there we are. Uh, so yeah, now if you want to put the um, the backing, uh, the the cargo back, you can do that. So yeah, but I'm not gonna yeah, I'm not gonna fold that unfortunately. So you can you can pose them like that, or um, if you want, you can use the other one and you can pose them just like that. That's very cool. Look at that. Boom. All right. So um yeah, that's uh <clears throat> that is Street Fighter Six. Collector's Edition. The next two games are Street Fighter games, but it's not part of the main numbered Street Fighter games. So, the first one is Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection. This contains 12 games in one disc. Uh, there is the 12 games that I mentioned. Uh, so you've got the first Street Fighter, Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter 2 Champions Edition, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Hyper Fighting, uh, Street Fighter 2 New Challenger, Turbo, Alpha, Alpha 2, Alpha 3, uh, Street Fighter 3, Second Impact, and thir Third Strike. Right, those are the games there. And inside, you get obviously the disc, uh, you get a warranty and technical support flyer, and also, you can swap the cover. So if you can see here, I'm going to take the CD out, the disc out. You can see that you can swap the cover to that. Uh, let me let me show you uh, in depth. All right. So if I take out this, that is what the well. You can technically take swap the cover, but there it is. There is the um, the cover, the thirtieth anniversary collection. Okay. It looks yeah. It looks pretty weird if you put it as a cover, but um, I guess it's doable if you want. If that's uh, if that's where you want to go, but yeah, there it is. Okay. And finally, I want to show you Street Fighter Cross Tekken for the PS3. Um, I'm still waiting for Tekken Cross Street Fighter. I don't care how long it takes, but preferably in my time, please Namco. So yeah, <laughs> there it is. Now, physical content-wise, you get three things in here, right? Uh, but before I do that, uh, let me show you the box. Actually, it shows you um, what the contents are, actually. So there's a top there, uh, there's a bottom. There's one side to it, and the con there it is, the contents are actually in there. So you get 
a, a replica, um, what is that? A coin, a piggy bank in the shape of an arcade, uh, a comic book, and also the game itself. Right, so let me show you all three. Uh, all right, so let's uh, let's open it up first and take a look at the inside. Now the inside, yes, it is empty, and that is because I'm going to take the game out first. And that is because I've already created the piggy bank, the coin bank. There it is in the shape of an arcade. So there we are. Right there's the inside. There is uh, Chun Li against is that Julia or Michelle? I can't remember. But yeah, Street Fighter Cross Taken. The top has a Street Fighter Cross Taken uh, sticker, and that's where. You put the coins uh, in, okay? Uh, on the back, there's nothing in there. One side is Kazuya, the other side is Ryu. Uh, bottom, that's where you um, take out all the coins. So if you put this, uh, where is it? Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay? All right, so there is the um, click. There is the coin. Now, <clears throat> the game itself. There it is. There's the game case. Uh, again, made by Capcom, of course. Uh, and inside, get a few things. Number one, the Blu-ray disc, and then you get. Uh, now, also, I, I forgot. To, I should mention this. The it's called an arcade cabinet bank. That's right. So the cabinet bank it comes in. Um, it comes in pieces, and this is the instructions to get it uh, into one piece. Right. And they're all they're all kept on uh, in, inside of inside of here essentially, okay. But there it is. Oh, and also uh, I should mention this: the the arcade uh, joystick here it actually moves. You see that it moves. So um, I don't know if that's deliberate, but uh, it looks like yeah, it looks like you can you can do quarter circle, forward, half circle, and all that motion. But uh, I don't know if that's intentional, but it, it's just cool um, to see. Okay, um, let's take a look at the let's take a look at the um, uh, the instruction manual first, which is that one there. Okay, and also, by the way, this game, I do not have all of the characters, because remember, when this game came out, there was like a, a whole bunch of character DLCs that you could, well, you can buy with a one-off payment, but and it, it unlocks like half of the roster, but uh, yeah, I, I don't own that, because um, I refuse to pay that, you know, a ridiculous amount of money for something that's already in here, in, in the CD, but yeah, this is what it is, I guess, that's where the world's going to, everything's locked behind a DLC. Right, uh, but there, there's the controllers. Uh, again, there's the controllers there. Game menu. Uh, getting started, costume, color, you know, all that jazz, basic controls. Uh, yeah, throw escape, switching, launchers, boost combo, cross punch. Uh, those are the basic controls. Cross arts, cross assault, supercharge, Pandora, quick combo, gems. Customizing online battles, and that's it. There's no move uh, moves or anything. Uh, but yeah, <clears throat> that is the uh, booklet instruction manual. Now on to the comic itself. Now uh, you're probably gonna have to want to watch this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and open this and show you every single bit. Now, also by the way, uh, on the back uh, gives you the code. Uh, so just in case you're wondering, there it is. Uh, Redemption expiry date 2012. That's how long ago this game was. Yeah. Okay, <clears throat> but I'm still not, not going to show you the code. <laughs> uh, there's a print. Okay, so I'm going to put it here so you can, hopefully you can read it. If you pause the screen here, you can, you can hopefully read that. There it is. Oh, actually I just showed you the code. But anyway, yeah, the code's there. It, it is expired, so don't really care. And then... And, uh, yeah, we're almost there, almost finished. Um, <clears throat> bonus artwork. 
uh, there we are and there it is there's the last page yeah and that's uh, that's it that's uh, that's basically everything all of the Street Fighter games that I own uh, physical games um, it's not much but I am like I said I'm all, I am always uh, in the lookout for physical games um, you know be it in be it regular copies or even better collector's edition copies as always thank you for watching don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you haven't and I will see you in the next video.